Hi everyone, this is Anthony Torres, Red Diamond Method here at the Riley to explain the Torg system over here. It's, this thing is very cool because it's nice, compact, it's got everything in placement for you, which by the way, I'm, I'm, just, a, I'm just a nitpicker, everything is in order, ordered, try to put things back so the gym stays clean so nobody walks in, you can immediately start using the equipment. Always ask that please. All right, so here we are, is we have a TRX attachment here. We have your battle rope attached down here, which you could actually use bands as well to hook onto those. Um, and then you have, this is so, these are so much fun. They're hard. You have an endless rope system over here, which I'll show you how to use that here momentarily. But I wanted to show you that the, all the assembly attachments that you have, where the equipment's placed at. And again, like I said, try to put it back in there and uh, we'll get right into using the equipment. So a battle rope is definitely one of those tools that has been around for some time and it's very popular because it's a high intensity um, exercise piece of equipment. Now, one thing you wanna do when you got a battle rope first is you wanna definitely make sure that you have evenness on your handles. You're not one higher, one lower, right? You have a good grip and you're gonna move it back. I got it hooked over here to the torque system on the bottom rail. Now, first movement, basic, is just right here, just a regular wave, okay? I'm just moving at a nice low speed, but if you notice where my stance is at, it's low, it's a squat. I'm locked in through the core, and I'm working the arms, the core system, the legs are active, and then, of course, I'm gonna speed it up. Another good one is known as the slams. Big power movement. Over the top, you could also do here to the sides. This works the obliques really good. Even if you needed to, that it's hard to grab both, just grab one. All right, make sure you even it out. You always get both sides. Another fun one to do: sit down, up and over. And I'll give you a little bonus one. You'll see a lot of people. Do it from a fun plank position. Just be careful of your knuckles. You could even do it from your knees if you wanted to, right? But I get into plank. You could even be down to the knees here and work. Knee down, so get your little mat. Now you got a good mobility movement in there as well. And that is your battle rope system, high intensity cardio here at the Riley, show you how to use your TRX. Now, TRX has hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of exercise. This was developed by Navy SEAL. It uh, definitely has advanced over the years, uh, from the handles to the straps, everything. I'm gonna give you a couple basic movements that you can do on a TRX. Say you're trying to work on your squat, just your squat. So we get into a good squat position, feet are hip width distance apart, your chest is up, and say you don't have the deepest squat, but you're trying to get it. These handles will help you to be able to get that mobility and work on your squat and get it down lower. So I always tell everybody, if you want a good built legs, including your glutes, get into the butt, you gotta learn to really squat. And it's just really good for you over time to get that squat mobility movement so you have that over your lifetime. Now we start getting into a little bit more advanced squat, we maybe even turn it into a jump squat. So now we get something explosive with it. Right? Maybe we move into a lunge position and this will help you to get the lunge. Right? We track the knee over the ankle, we alternate the legs, work into a good lunge position. And then of course we can turn it into explosive. So now we got a jump lunge. Right? Now for the upper body, a couple of quick ones. I'm just gonna flip it around. I'm in a, what looks like a little plank position if you were on the ground. And the way you just adjust this is if you need a little bit less you just move back, right? If you, if you need a little bit more, then you're just gonna come up here and push, right? So if my push-up is not super good just yet, this is a good starting point. We can work from here. If there's not quite as much tension, if I move it back, we're gonna find our press. It's gotta get harder now, okay? So that's why you're gonna adjust on that chest press. Another good movement you can work on is going to be bicep curls. So we get into a good position. 
one of the biggest things is look at your core system. If you're like this, then your core is definitely not engaged. We want a straight body, core is locked, feet are locked, and we get a nice bicep curl. And notice what I'm doing is I'm extending the arms all the way out on that bicep curl, and I'm getting that squeeze at the top. Really important. For a little bit more challenge, get on your heels, walk your feet forward. Now you got a little more challenging bicep, and now we're going to reverse Look how quick this motion is. Flip. I'm in position, ready to do my triceps. Over the top, again, if I need less, I'm going to move forward. If I need a little bit more tension, I'm going to move back. And we're going to tricep press. All right. So there is a couple of quick motions that you can do. Again, TRX, if you literally went to their website or you even just search on YouTube, you'll find the thousands of uh, TRX exercises. I'll keep trying to deliver some of the fun ones to you so that you can use them here at the Riley.